This is MSJ Chem and in this video I'm going to look at trends in melting point. So I'm going to describe and explain the trends in melting point across a period in the periodic table. Here we have a graph of the melting points of the first 18 elements. On the y-axis we have temperature in Kelvin, on the x-axis we have increasing atomic number. So we'll start by looking at the trend across period 2, starting with lithium, then beryllium, then boron, then carbon, then nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. So as you can see, the melting point increases from lithium to carbon, where it peaks, and then it decreases for nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. And if we look at the trend across period 3, starting with sodium, you can see that the melting point increases to silicon, where we see the peak, and then it decreases for phosphorus, a slight increase for sulfur, and then a decrease for chlorine and argon. The melting point of elements depends on their bonding and their structure. So if we look at the type of bonding for lithium, beryllium and boron, they have metallic bonding. Carbon has a giant covalent structure, and nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, they have molecular covalent structures. Next, if we look at period 3, sodium, magnesium and aluminium, they have metallic bonding, silicon has a giant covalent structure, and phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, they have molecular covalent structures. So melting point depends on the type of bonding that's covalent, ionic or metallic, and the structure the ionic lattice, the molecular covalent, the giant covalent, or the metallic structures. Melting point increases across a period as the strength of the metallic bond increases, and we saw this for lithium, beryllium, and boron. They reach a peak at carbon and silicon, which have the highest melting points across a period, and they have giant covalent structures. Melting points then decrease with elements that have molecular covalent structures. So that's all for trends in melting points. Don't forget, as always, if you check the video description, you'll find the link to a practice worksheet complete with answers.